Hey everybody, it's everybody seven here and welcome back to the channel with Team of the Week 2 predictions. Okay, I didn't do a review for Team of the Week 1, but we, we got the main one, I think. We got Son, we missed on the Bruin. But hey, everything is in the past. Let's do predictions for the next uh, team tomorrow, Wednesday. So, on goal, we're gonna have Kasper Schmeichel. Uh, his team won, uh, I forgot against two, to be honest, but his team won 2 0. He had seven saves. Seven saves, that's a lot of saves, to be honest. Then on uh, defense, we'll go with Virgil van Dijk. Basically, um, he, sc he scored the goal between. Um, how did they play? Well, I think it was even on Marky Matt. I'm, I'm blanking. I'm getting old, you know, I'm getting old. Uh, but yes, uh, Virgil van Dijk, he scored a lonely goal. Then Hakanji. We got a Kanji here from City. This is going to be a nice card. Um, he they won against uh, Spain, two one, which really helped uh, Portugal. So he had a very very uh, good performance with one goal and one assist. Yes, uh, if you look at my ass drift, it's because I'm reading what happened. To be honest, then the third centre back, and I'll be honest, this is quite rare. It's not usual to have. Uh, team of the week with only center backs, you know, EA cheats because they want the strikers, but EA cheats and sometimes puts uh, right backs in the center back position. But we got Marquinhos, he had a clean sheet and a goal against uh, Ghana on the final win. Then we have a Porto player here, Uribe, which is not gonna lie, it's looking like a very sexy card. Um, he had to assist in a 4 1 nil over Guatemala. Then this Nightmare of a Beast is back, Fofana. I hope it's not like back uh, last year. Last year was terrible to face this guy. One goal in the 2 1 nil over Togo. Then we have Irving Lozano. He's, he's coming back. This guy always has in forms every year. He had, uh, he scored the goal in the 1 0 victory over uh, Peru. And this is not this new symbol. Looks really well. Then we have Mohamed Salah with the 3 0 victory over Niger. Uh, he scored two goals. Yeah, he scored two goals. Then we have uh, Messi here. He had scored two goals against Honduras. I'll be honest, you're going to call me a hater, okay? But I don't think it's, well, it's Honduras and it's Messi, so it should be easy. Yeah, yeah. He, he also got man of the match. Then we have uh, Mitrovic. He had a four. 1 0 against um, Sweden, so from Serbia, he scored three goals. So he's gonna be in shame about the pace. But for the meta at this moment, I think it's gonna be a good one to be honest. Then we have Giroud, one goal and one assist against Austria. They actually, it was a very important game, they needed to win so they wouldn't get relegated on the Nations Cup. Then substitutes, sorry, I got hiccups. Uh, on the substitutes, yeah, we got this one. Nothing that special, to be honest. But of course, we have Dalo. He's gonna be in definitely. I'm gonna say it now. I think Dalo is gonna be in instead of Marquinhos on the starting eleven. I don't think Marquinhos is going to uh, have an info. And yes, we took this prediction from Putben from Aaron Grimer. Thank you once again for uh, leaving that uh, prediction and uh, letting us use the community use the, your prediction, Aaron. Thank you so much. But I think Marquinhos won't begin, and I think Talo is going to be in the starting eleven, and I'll put something different. What to invest here? To be honest, there's nothing to invest. If you want to invest, which is going to be hard because let's be honest, it's really, really expensive in the market at this moment. I would go with PSG players or um, or Liverpool players uh, like uh, oh, I'm forgetting them, Jota. You can invest in Jota. I think he's going to rise. If both Salah and Dalo have an inform, I think Jota is going to rise a lot because it gives the good link to Dalo and it gives a good link for Salah. Also, uh, if you get Van Dijk, it's going to be... We'll see. We'll see how it is. But I think Dalo uh, has m multiple reasons to... Um, you know, has multiple reasons to get uh, to value to value in price. Because of Salah, Dalo, and even Van Dijk, because of the way chemistry is working. Uh, you can go, if Akanji gets an inform, 
um, Babu and uh, the the CM from uh, Zakaria. I think they're gonna, it's going to rise a lot as well. I think yeah, those are the best investments that you can do, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry if you're hearing other noises besides my voice in the music, but it's really hot in here and I need to have the window open. So guys, thank you so much for being here. Please leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon. You know, all those good things that make us grow. I will see you on the next one. There should be a sub button up here if you would press it. Uh, latest video over there. And over there should be my Platinative channel where I do completionist stuff. I will see you on the next one. Bye.